Hi, I'm here today with the owner of the property at 6910 North Lakewood Drive in Georgetown, Texas. As I recall, the very first time I drove out to this property, I could not believe it's at the end of the road. And so you go across a cattle guard that protects the property, nice barn, nice home, and then guess what? Behind the home is a lake. It looks like a river, but it's actually a lake. It's the headwaters of the lake of Sun City, Texas, and this property borders Sun City. Today, I'm talking with the owner to get some insight on this property from, obviously, the owner's perspective. And he's been the owner of this property for many years, has just recently completed a complete overhaul of everything on this property, and it's absolutely wonderful. But today, hopefully, we're going to get some insights that you can't get from MLS and pictures and things like that on MLS, and we're going to put them into a video so that we can do a little bit more marketing for this home. First of all, how many acres are there? Uh, 3.25 acres. And on that, you have a home that's got how many square feet? Well, the total square footage is approximately 3,450 square feet. There's a detached garage with a uh, small apartment on the side that was being used as an office. It can be used as an office or as an extra bedroom or for storage, whatever uh, the homeowner wants to do. Is that in addition to the square footage you quoted on the home? No, that's including the okay. uh, square footage. And then as I recall, there's a nice barn on there. Do you, what size of barn is it? The barn is approximately uh, 60 by 20. Um, they did have some animals on it prior to me owning the property, but uh, since then there hasn't been any animals in the property or in the barn. And then behind the home, as I recall, you have this fabulous deck that goes all the way across the back of the home that overlooks the water frontage. Is that correct? That's correct. The, uh, the original deck, when I bought the house, needed some work, so I, I tore it down and I rebuilt the deck in uh, approximately 2000 or 2001. And then this past year, I uh, also went back and did some more uh, rebuilding and uh, strengthening of the deck, sealed it and redid it with a new paint. The house sits approximately 30 feet above the, uh, the Berry Creek is what, the, what feeds the lake. So the lake, it's a small lake there in Sun City on the other side. And uh, that part of it is, you might call it the, the mouth or the headwaters coming in. It's constant level. It does go up a couple of feet when it rains heavily, but for the rest of the time, it stays constant level. It's spring fed. No danger of flooding the home? No, there is no danger of flooding. The, the home is way above the actual creek itself. Any fishing in there? A lot of fish. The previous owner, and I saw the picture, caught a 65 pound cat creek and also the neighbor has come over and caught a 35 pound within the last year or so and then there's all kinds of the workmen that were helping me were catching three and four pound catfish all the time and there's also bass in there as well. Why did you buy the property? Originally uh, we were shown the property by Wally Wilson and I fell in love with it. We bought the property and we started remodeling it we replaced all the windows and we replaced all the interior doors, the exterior doors. We repainted. We also put in hardwood floors, tile floor, new carpeting. And we just upgraded the house to more of the 2000 decor, the decor, everything. So I never, oh, I forgot to mention that I put all new um, AC system in. And then this time we landscaped outside. Uh, we did a zero scape type design with drip irrigation, so every plant outside has its own drip line. That that'll conserve on water right there, and the, it's programmed to come in to come on at night so that you don't waste any water. And you have both city water and well water, correct? We have city water. There is a well on the property, however, I've disconnected the um, pump at the moment, but it can be turned on if somebody wants to use it. Now, the well water was used for irrigation only. It wasn't used for the house. The, we have city water for the house. Uh, 
It's for somebody that loves nature. There's plenty of deer on the property, plenty of wildlife. I've seen hawks. I've seen all kinds of birds, a lot of fish in the river. Um, there's a lower level. There's some, uh, a stone stairway down to the, the lower level, right on the bank of the river. Uh, it's nice to sit out there, uh, go fishing, have a picnic. Uh, or barbecue, or just set up a little campfire in the evening and have uh, storytelling and that kind of stuff.